Hey guys, it's Amy again from Ara Ara here for the sixth episode of Ranking of Kings. Last episode was really, really intense. So basically left us off with a cliffhanger, I believe. It was Boji and Kage in the king's throne room and with the king recognizing who Boji was. There's nothing else. Let's get started with the next episode. You know the music makes me think of like 90s RPG games. Ten, I'm told the first prince was so unfit that his younger brother was made king in his place. <laughs> oh, news spreads fast. What brings you all the way here to the underworld? We've got a plan, and coming to the underworld was part of it. I was addressing that question to Boss's son, not to you. Boji can't hear or speak, so if you want an answer out of him, it's gonna come through me! Then the absurd rumors were entirely correct! What is with this guy? We heard there's someone living in the underworld with the power to make an ordinary man as strong as a king. Really? And he goes by the name of, hold on, it was Des. Anyway, we gotta find this Des whoever so he can make Boji the mightiest man around! That stumbling weakling? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like this guy is a good guy. He's just um, trying to taunt them. I'm the death something you seek. Uh -huh. huh? Is it just me or the intro looks different? It is different. The settings are in the new play season. I am the reigning king of the underworld. Death ha. You're him? You take me for a liar? <laughs> Did his guards just... You have to make Boji stronger. I can hardly do that without knowing how strong he is now. Go. Sire. Show much that, Boji. I... I never saw Kage like that. I always thought he was like a shadow thing. Suits thing. Your opponent is the captain of the Order of the Underground. Why did you freeze? They're strong enough to bring down a whole country themselves. What? And they're relentless. Oh yeah, they're the ones that keep the city safe and prospering. Yeah, I remember Damas mentioned. Cut it to bits where it stands. Ah! But Bochi is not strong, yeah. Ah! Enough! Have you come in jest? Ridiculous. What he's really good at is dodging attacks. You gotta see for yourself. Mm, that's yeah. fair. Fine. Now try not to let him hit you. I was expecting much from the son of the mighty king boss. It is simply futile to try Aww. and make you stronger. Is it conviction that drives you or something else? Or perhaps what? It pains me to do this, but I must show you the limits of your capabilities and crush your hope. <laughs> <laughs> that it was no fluke, but can you handle this? What? Boji was capable of that? Oh, well, I mean, Dido was able to fight up those two guards, right? I mean, these two kids are actually pretty good, given they've been training their whole lives. I guess that makes sense. Brilliant. I'm impressed. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he doesn't give to. Sorry, but no. You can survive a fight, but how can you win? Mm. How will you get through your opponent's That's armor? That's true. Oh yeah, we already established this. The idea was you would teach him how to do that. Well, I can't. It's pointless. He can get stronger, I swear. You're the only one who can train him. That's right. I have a letter of recommendation. What? Yeah, right here. That's possible? Did you read this letter before you came here? Nah, I've been pretty busy. Get them out of my sight. What was in that letter? <laughs> So, uh, I guess I goofed. Sorry about that. It must have been rough for you. Aww. Don't go thinking for one second you've disappointed me. They're so nice to each other. You're sure to get stronger if you try. Oh, dear. You're gonna be just fine. Like, he initially tried to force to not cry in front of Kage, but he realized I don't have to act like I'm not vulnerable in front of Kage. Fool, you're in the wrong place. King Desha is not the man you seek. If King Desha is not the guy we need, then who is? Look for King Desha's younger brother, Prince Despa. Oh. So the king's got a little brother? Why didn't he just <laughs> tell us that? You know, like a normal person. <laughs> when it comes to his younger brother, he has an antagonistic streak. <laughs> antagonistic streak. Envy, perhaps. It's complicated. I'm not gonna judge. Yeah, exactly. You guys are the guards. But more than that, just take it. I wish to see how Prince Boji will grow. May it prove to be of help to you. Aww. I wonder what he said. 
Oh yeah, back to this. How could you do this, given your character? Perhaps I should have predicted such a response. You are a butterfly. You're ensnared in my web. And struggle as you may, you will not break free. What do you mean, Please Magic mirror. mirror? I'm young, and I wish to stake my rule on my potential. Yeah, fair. You have years to go. Uh, mm, very interesting, seeing Dida's point of view. Yeah, and then Boji wasn't even practicing. And then he gets the throne. Yeah. It will not fail. I'll mold myself to meet your expectations of a king. It can't be. If he's alive, does that mean Bebin is dead? <laughs> Was that Lady Miranjo? Okay. Is Miranjo the name of Boji's mom? My name is Miranjo. I am going to change you, Apis. <laughs> Oh, so it's a ritual for a lot of people. Wait, what? So is Appy's dead? Been many years since we've spoken, milady. What is the meaning of this interruption? In accordance with the will of King Boss, I am to make Prince Boji the king. Then you would assassinate King Dida to protect yourself? <laughs> Such determination befits the spear of the king, but King Dida is invaluable to me. Why does he bow down to her? Are you gonna do it? It couldn't be. King Dida! He understands the situation. King Dida, I beg your forgiveness. You expect my trust so soon after that? I beg you. This is a confusing show. Have mercy. So many plot twists. Every single episode. And they're gonna force feed him the blood? I took that guy for some overblown clown, but if he's ruling over a town this big, maybe he's more a king than I thought. Boji's in his own fantasy game. He ordered a bronze statue of himself? Someone doesn't like him. Did they punch the statue in the face? <laughs> they are gonna force him to drink it. Oh, I knew it. I feel sorry for Dida now. At last, we've made it this far. His eyes were always upon me. Golden eyes aglow. At the root of his intensity, there lay a fierce determination to protect his pupil. That was his duty, of course, as an officer of the court. But I believe personal affection also played a part. He found himself ensnared in my plans. Your hesitation was well justified, King Dida. To augment your power is not the elixir's purpose. Then what is it for? Hey, that's it! We found Prince Despa's house! I wonder what he'll be like. He's probably the opposite of his hey, brother. you there? <laughs> Who might you be? You yep. mean your Despa? That is my name. I wasn't expecting that. I feel the episodes are always really fast with ranking of kings. Like, I never really realized that we are at the ending. And it's always very open-ended. It's like, media. Uh, yeah. Five minutes later. Okay, so for episode six, we were able to see the order of the underworld, where in Thomas actually mentioned them in previous episodes, where they were the reason why the underworld was a prospering city. Like the hell city is, is actually a good place or whatever, because they kill monsters and all of that. And then they end up in King Daisha's. See, their names are actually, no, that, no, again, I'm just really bad at names, but I think it was Daisha and then the brother was Despa. And then Kaga. I got it mixed up. You know what? I would probably be like Kage. I'd be like, uh, pff, King Des something. I don't know. <laughs> but you gotta make Boji strong. And yeah, I mean, at least even if the order of the underworld follows King Daisha, they still realize the potential that Boji had and led them into the right direction. And I wonder what the drama is between the two brothers. I'm actually invested in that. Just like Kage, I actually want to know, bro. Like, just let us know. And the order is just like, no, just leave. <laughs> Can we just talk about that plot twist that was Appy's all this time? He was always on Boji's side. And then Lady Mir no. Miraho magic mirror person just changes Apis's mind with the word stop. Hey, imagine that. Who, who is this person? Is he actually Boji's mom? Just because she was like, oh, I've spent many days with the king. Or is it a ploy? Like, is there going to be a plot twist where they have to do the same cake recipe with Dida for Boji? What is going on? They were just like discussing. And for some reason, Dida doesn't have good enough hearing, even if he's right there, to understand what they're saying. 
so weird and i wonder what that elixir was because if it's not to make die the strong then what is it it's obviously not to poison him because magic mirror has plans for him so what was that but yeah we also got to see a little background of what things are in Dida's perspective in the previous episodes you're just like ugh, he's so annoying just go away Dida. you know <laughs> the thing is you see his side and he actually worked really hard and it's yeah my own mother cares more for boji and here i am you know getting hurt and boji's just drawing in the sand and then when we try to go on about again each other he still wins how is that even fair he actually tries really hard and then despite all of that and being the more capable one his dad is like yeah you're not gonna be king i think it should be boji so i understand where he's coming from in a way where he's like yeah you know what i deserve to be king and i need to keep people by my side who believe i could be king and the dumbest thing though was super weird uh, no you shouldn't have betrayed boji though then you would have been good as my right hand man i got it but at the same time uh 50 50 bro in a way like if you think about it daida doesn't have the same support system that boji has now boji has people that really care about him like kage and i believe it was hotaro who gave up his own life even if he just met him daida didn't really have that it was more of just like you should train you should train you should train and even if bebin does actually care about daida i don't think he he saw it in that way so he saw all this care go toward boji and yeah that ending as well <laughs> what's worse than seeing your dad get grinded in a blender and all that like i said last episode to go through that whole recipe and being made to drink it is actually being tied up being forced to drink it after being scraped off the floor with a towel and just, oh man no at this point <laughs> I have no words for this show. I really did not foresee this was how the show would turn out. I thought the show would be many, many things, but not this. <laughs> not this. You guys can compare it to Kotaro. Like, I understand the sad part of, oh yeah, Kotaro is the emotional side of the kids. Who has a sadder life? But this, this is a lot to take in. <laughs> Story-wise, at least. Yeah, that's pretty much it for episode 6. It's a really exciting show so far. So yeah, I really, really am excited to see what happens next. And don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And that's pretty much it. Okay, bye guys!